Hello, race fans. I'm Wiley Wade, and this is Wiley's Race Report. Hello, race fans. Welcome to Wiley's Race Report for April 29th, 2020. As we are continuing our quarantining, we are getting set for racing action at some point. Wanted to let you know that uh, when we do start running again, we're going to have a special race for the Modifieds. $1,900 to win, $200 to start. Um, the Sport Mods will be running for a $900 to win race, $100 to start for them. And the Hobby Stocks will be running for a $300 to win race. That'll be uh, when we get to racing action for the first time in 2020. Thanks to Chad Chadwick owner of Pro Motions, the new promoter at Antioch Speedway. Look forward to actually getting out there at some point whenever we're able to start socializing and being around the racetrack again. But uh, anyway, that's something to look forward to. So yesterday I had the opportunity to interview a young man um, who is going to be racing at Antioch Speedway this year in the 360 wingless sprint cars. His name is Dylan Bloomfield. He's an eighth grader. He's got a lot of racing experience, started uh, Back when he was seven or eight, I believe he said. And he'll be joining us at Antioch Speedway. Look forward to seeing him. I think you're going to see some great things out of him. We had a little fun in this interview, so uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here he is, Dylan Bloomfield. Edition of Wiley's Race Report. And I got a special guest today, a uh, young man, Dylan Bloomfield. Dylan, uh, welcome. Thanks for joining me on today's Wiley's Race Report. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, first of all, tell us about what you've been doing up until this year. What have you been, what have you been racing in the past? Oh, uh, you know, um, just been practicing a little bit on iRacing on the off-season, but I've uh, been out here working on the cars, getting to know them, and uh, racing right before uh, this all happened. We were racing in the micros at the people, and I uh, can't wait to get this race season back on. Yeah, the uh, quarantine, putting a little damper on getting you on the racetrack, huh? Yep, yeah, it's, uh, just can't wait to go back out. I'm so excited right now, it's just pulling me back. So what, uh, what kind of things have you been racing on iRacing? I've, I've raced that as well. Uh, you, uh, like dirt midgets and, um, sprint cars. For sure, been practicing a lot of non-wing stuff, so it's been fun. Having fun doing that? Yeah, a lot of fun. All right, you, uh, you got your race car. You're in, in there with your race car. Why don't you show us your race car real quick? Yeah. So a wingless sprint car is what it looks like. And that, uh, wow, look at that one. Got two of them, huh? Yep, we got a, a micro and then we got a sprint car. So. Awesome. You ready to go racing then? Yeah. What's, uh, what's your favorite part about being a race car driver? Um, <clears throat> just, I don't know, just learning a lot of things and, um, talking to my crew chief, Willie Frazier, and my dad, just learning how to set up the sprint cars and stuff, so it's really fun. What, uh, where have you raced in the past with your, your micro midget? Um, Delta Speedway, uh, Dixon Speedway, Lemoore, Plaza. Um, Tulsa, the Tulsa shootout, and uh, that's about it. Oh, and Antioch Speedway for the sprint car. There you go. Okay, so you're gonna run the uh, run the wingless sprint cars, right? Yep. Um, so what's your car number? Thirty-three. Thirty-three, and does that have some special meaning? How'd you come up with thirty-three? Uh, my dad was a professional motocross racer, and uh, I've always really liked that number. And he was, I and. I've always wanted to take over after him, so, uh, yeah. So he did it on two wheels, and you're going four-wheel racing. Did you ever do any motorcycle stuff? Yeah, uh, when I, I, start, I, I was riding dirt bikes when I was really young, and then um, got in a, a dirt bike accident, and then uh, I've always kind of wanted to race sprint cars my whole life. But, yeah, now it's pretty awesome to get to this stage. Looks like you got a dirt bike in the background there as well. Yep, a couple of them. There you go. Very cool. Um, so you don't have a day job. That was my next question. I got a, I got a little sheet I was going to 
have a little fun with. So you don't have a day job, I assume, but I assume you're in school. So what grade are you in? Yeah, I'm an eighth grader. Eighth grade. All right. So you're getting ready for high school next year. Yep. How are you liking this uh, online school stuff? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, it's for sure different. I'm getting, <laughs> having to get used to it, but getting my homework done at the beginning of the week is kind of nice and just being able to work around cars and stuff all week. There you go. Working for neighbors. <laughs> so uh, what's your biggest racing accomplishment? Um, winning the Speed League Championship for the micro sprints and um, probably winning the Delta Speedway Championship uh, and the junior sprints. Very good. Um, is there a specific race you would like to race in someday and win? Um, I would like to win the Eldora. USAC 360 non cars. I like to win there. That'd be pretty awesome. On out to Ohio and Tony Stewart's track. Very cool. Yep. What is it about that track that makes you want to go out there? I don't know. It always seems like they're always out on the boards, and it's a lot of sliders and a lot of fun with it. So. They definitely have a nice track out there, that's for sure. Yep. So uh, what all are you doing uh, during the coronavirus? What are you spending your time doing besides school? Um, practicing on iRacing a lot, uh, working on cars, um, yeah, just, I work, uh, I work for my neighbors sometimes, we do the yards and stuff like that, so, making a little bit of money. There you go. Um, yeah. what kind of setup do you have for your iRacing? Is it, uh, do you got a whole, whole rig or you just got steering wheel and pedals? Yep, just steering wheel, pedal, and a monitor on top of a desk, that's it. Um, what's your favorite food? Uh, probably ribeye. Ribeye? Ribeye and mashed potatoes, yep. Oh, there you go. I had a nice ribeye the other night. That's a nice one right there. Who's yeah. your, who's your hero in racing? Um, Kyle Larson. Um, I really like Kyle Larson, even though he had a little accident. But, um, he's still not gonna affect me with his whole racing. Nice local guy? Yep. Something to learn from there as well. Um, how about in life overall? Who's your hero? Um, probably my dad. Your dad? Yeah. But that's... Um, he's always kind of, like, guarding me to the right path. And so is my mom. But I've taken over his number, and now he's always helping me with all this stuff. So it's pretty awesome. Good and, uh, give him a good parents. That's a good thing. Um, what's your favorite kind of music? Country. 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 There yeah. you go. What do you have a favorite song? Um, the road anthem. Okay. That song. Uh, do you have a nickname? Uh, well, I kind of two race kid and a Cali kid. All right. And how did you get those? Um, my buddy Tim Hammett came out to the races one night, and he just started calling me Cali Kid, so I've always kind of stuck with that. And then when I started racing, we were racing a lot, so I think, I, I think it just kind of came up with Race Kid. All right. Um, what's one thing you cannot go one day without? Um, racing. Racing. <laughs> yeah. Got to race one day, one way or another every day, huh? Yep, basically. All right. Um, so your, was your first, was the uh, mini sprint? Was that your first race car? Um, a, a box stop outlaw car was. Okay. Yep. And how old were you when? You, how old were you when you started that? Oh, uh, like seven and a half, eight. Okay. So you've been racing for a few years then. Yep. Um. Six years. If you could spend the day with four people, living or dead, who would you want to spend the day with? Kyle Larson, uh, Jeff Gordon, um, Tony Stewart, and probably Ryan Newman. All race car drivers, three out of the four came up through the ranks in the sprint cars. Very cool. Yep. Uh, what's your favorite holiday? Christmas. Christmas. You like getting lots of presents, I assume. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's the Hoosier tires. Oh, there you go. Do you have anything to collect? Do you collect? Do you have any collections? Um, no, not really. Maybe uh, some tires. <laughs> collect tires. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a favorite racing memory? Speedway in a junior sprint, and I did the dab on top of the ring. That was really cool. I kind of went crazy after that. On your bike, you know what a bucket list is, I assume. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a bucket list? All right. What's uh, what race is on your bucket list to watch in person? Uh, um, Knoxville Nationals or Eldora. Off to Knoxville. There you go. Yep. Um. Who knows you the best? Um, my dad probably or my mom. <laughs> Parents? That would be yeah. that would be understandable. Yeah. So who do you want to thank that's on your pit crew? Who's on your pit crew? Um, my mom, my dad, Willie Frazier, Air One, uh, Thirty Three Motorsports, just everyone that helps me out. Um, Napa Auto Parts, K One, Delta Contracting. Unique Pest Control, CTA, Extreme Motorsports, Casey's Auto Body, uh, Lace Belt, and yeah. That's it. Good crowd right there. Good crowd. Um, yep. So this year, out of all the drivers that race out at Antioch in the wingless sprint cars, who do you want to beat the most? Bob Newberry. Bob Newberry. Yep. Buddy Bob. Okay. Well, can't wait to see that coming up. Yeah. And the last, <laughs> the last question, because it's the the coronavirus right now. How many rolls of toilet paper do you guys have in your house? <laughs> uh, I have no clue. I don't pay attention. <laughs> you just I know, know it's there when you need it, right? We use enough paper towels out in the shop, but yeah, I don't know about the uh, toilet paper. <laughs> A little fun with uh, quarantine. So hopefully we get to see you on the racetrack here soon. I know uh, sounds like the county has extended the uh, the stay at home through the end of May. So um, not sure what that's going to mean, but uh, and hopefully that changes. But hopefully to see you out on the racetrack soon. I look forward to seeing you out on the racetrack. Yeah. Yep. Me too. Yep. It'd be awesome. All right. Thank you very much, Dylan Bloomfield, for joining me for this edition of Wiley's Race Report. That was Dylan Bloomfield, young eighth grader. As you could tell, a little bit nervous. Being my own cameraman myself, I can understand the shakiness when uh, you're being a little nervous, but uh, that's okay. We had fun doing the interview, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. I look forward to seeing Dylan out on the racetrack in the number 33 Wingley Sprint Car at Antioch Speedway this year, and I look forward to seeing you out at the racetrack as well. That's going to do it for this edition of Wiley's Race Report. If you have any ideas or people you'd like to see me interview, send me a note at AntiochSpeedwayAnnouncer at gmail.com AntiochSpeedwayAnnouncer at gmail.com and I would love to get your ideas. And until next time, I'm Wiley Wade. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>